Hi students, Mr. Riedel here. Uh, Clever is an app on your iPads that is going to be super helpful. Clever allows you to sign into all these different other apps that without needing any more additional passwords. Okay, so once you sign into Clever, then you don't need any more passwords to get into any other apps or anything like that. At least you shouldn't. Uh, that's the way it's designed. So I'm going to lead you through a quick little overview of how to log into Clever, how to use it, and how it can be useful. Okay, let's take a look. So when you look at your home screen, you want to tap on the Clever icon right there on the home screen. And when it opens it up, it opens up the camera and like you could scan your Clever badge if you want or you can tap on the login with username password on the bottom. When it opens up, uh, if you open up it up for the first time, it'll probably ask you for your school. So you can search for your school by typing Reynolds Lee. Uh, that's how I found it easily. Sometimes it's hard to find. So tap on HB Lee Middle School and then uh, you want to log in with Active Directory. Okay, and then you sign in with your student email and your password, which is your student ID number at students.rsd7.net and then you enter your password and then you tap sign in. Okay, and once you're signed into Clever, as long as you keep this open, you should stay signed in. But if you close out of it, then it logs you out and you have to sign back in. Okay, so as you can see at the top, there's all these teacher pages and the, these are the teachers that you have right now. So I logged in as one of my students right now and you can see that my teacher page is at the top. It says Mr. Riedel's page and this student also has Ms. Weissman's page and the other teachers that they have throughout the day. And, <clears throat> and if you scroll down there's lots of apps that you can open up uh, through Clever. Uh, but what I want to show you right now is m the Mr. Riedel's page. I want to show you an example of what a teacher page looks like. So go ahead and tap on Mr. Riedel's page or whoever your teacher is. In my page, I have my virtual classroom, uh, which my students can tap on and they can access my Zoom links and stuff like that. But also I have other apps that I put in here for my students only uh, that they can use. If you go back and you open up a different teacher's page, it looks a little different because of the fact that they use different apps in their classroom than I do. So as you can see Miss Weissman's page, she has different apps than I did in mine. And if you have a teacher who hasn't set up a teacher page yet, you might tap on theirs and you might see nothing in there. So in which case if you need to join their Zoom class meeting or something, you might have to look for it in a different place like Schoology. Something at HB Lee that we use a lot is Schoology. So find Schoology, you can tap on Schoology and it logs you in automatically. You don't have to sign in every single time. And this looks a little bit different than the Schoology app. Sometimes a teacher might tell you to use Schoology through the Schoology app or sometimes they might say use it through Clever. And it looks different than the Schoology app. So that's something to keep in mind is if something doesn't work well in the app then you might want to try logging in through Clever. So if we want to go back to Clever to open up a different app or to go to a different Zoom link or a different location, then we tap on Clever in the upper left hand corner and it asks you if you want to log out of Schoology because you're using Schoology through Clever. So you say yes, you want to log out of Schoology and then it takes you back to Clever. And then you can use a different app or go to a different location or a different teacher's page if you want to. Okay. Uh, if we check out my page again and we look at uh, something, for example, like Dreambox. Dreambox is a math app that I use with my students. And if you tap on that, it saves on entering a password. Because what I did early in the year is I sent all my students their personalized password that they had in order to get into Dreambox, but I realized, oh, I didn't need to do that. I could just tell them to go through Clever. That's what I'm going to tell my students to do from now on, is to have them go through Clever, and then it'll automatically sign them in. So now I'm going to go back to Clever and show you a few more things you have available to you. Uh, students can tap on the little um, bubble icons in the top corner and that is where you can like send messages to teachers if they have that function activated. You can tap on the little bell icon if you have any notifications, you can check those. Or the last thing you could do is tap on the little uh, profile icon in the corner which has something really cool. It says download badge and this is where you can actually download this QR code 
which is the badge that you saw in the beginning of this video. And if you print this out and you use this, you can actually flash it up for the camera on the screen so that you don't have to type in your password every time. You just flash your QR code and it should work to log you in with the QR code. So that's a super handy thing. I haven't tested it out, but I've seen uh, other students use it and found success with it. So that's all I wanted to show you, a quick little overview of signing in and the basics with Clever. I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, you guys.